Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Dom and today we're going to be taking a look at five different ways to add items to an array using JavaScript. Now, I'm sure you've probably heard of a couple of these, but there might be one or two that you haven't actually used or seen before. So let's jump right into the first one. Starting us off, we have push. Now, of course, push is the most popular way people add items to an array. And you've probably heard of this one or definitely used it um, unless you're just starting to learn JavaScript. So we've got this array here of numbers 14, 6, 23, 18, and 2. And we can add a new number onto the end of the array here by saying numbers.push. Then we can say something like 35 just like that, I can now console.log what numbers looks like. And in the console, if I was to run this script, node push.js, we of course get 35 at the end there. Now, some of you experienced JavaScript developers might not know you can actually append multiple things. For example, 35 and 42. I'll save this runner again and we get 35 and 42 in the console here. So you can append multiple items and not just one, but this is the most common way to add items to the end of your JavaScript arrays. Next up, we've got unshift. Now, if you're familiar with the shift method, unshift is going to uh, add an item to the beginning of the array as opposed to removing it. So it works in a similar fashion to the push that we just saw. We've got dog, cat, and lizard. We can add a new pet to this list by saying pets uh, dot unshift. Then we can say right up here, uh, bird as an example. I'll now console.log the pets array. And we can see now, of course, uh, when I run this, we do in fact get bird at the beginning here. So this is where you may wish to implement a stack as opposed to a queue. Of course, combining the unshift with the shift method to uh, you know, get rid of those items from the top of your array as opposed to the end of it. The third method here is called splice. Now, splice is actually quite interesting because not only can you add items at a specified index, but you can also remove items at the same index. So let's first cover the most basic example, simply adding an item at a given index. So we have a list of names here, Johnny, Dom, and Rachel. And as we can see, at index one, we have Dom, but let's say I want to add a new name at index one and push Dom to the right side. Well, let's do this using the splice method. So down here, we're gonna say, names.splice and then you're going to want to pass in your starting index. I want to begin this operation at index one. So I'll pass one inside there. Now you specify how many items to remove. Let's say zero for this first example. And lastly, you specify the new uh, value. And we're gonna say here, let's just do Angela. Okay, so we've got Angela being inserted at index one, pushing DOM to the right side. So if I was to now console.log the names array, we now are going to of course see uh, Johnny, then Angela as being inserted, then we get DOM and Rachel. So that is your simple example. But what if I wanted to remove DOM and replace it with Angela? Well, let's increment our delete count by one. So now we get rid of one item during this operation. I'll run it again and we get Johnny, Angela and Rachel. I can even say two here to remove Rachel as well. I'll run it again and we can see now we only get Johnny and Angela. So that right there is the splice method and it especially comes in handy when you want to simply add a new item at a specified index. Now the last two methods are going to involve merging multiple arrays. So we are gonna be adding new items in the form of merging instead of a simple add operation like we saw in the previous three. So we've got a list of drinks here, orange juice and cola, and we're gonna be using the concat method to add a new array to the end of this one, but the values are gonna be extracted out to instead be part of this array. So let's hop down here and we're gonna say const more drinks is equal to, then say drinks.concat, 
And then inside here, we can provide a new array. We can say uh, water and coffee. So we're going to concatenate the water and coffee array to the drinks array. If I was to console.log more drinks now, I'll save this and run the script. We get orange juice, cola, water and coffee. So what's important to note here is that we are creating a new array using the concat method, it does not modify the array in place. That's why we need to specify a new constant here for the more drinks array. And optionally, you could even provide multiple arrays here. Let's add a new array and inside here, we can say something like T instead of you know water and coffee. I'll run it again and we get T at the end of here as well. So you've also got space to provide as many arrays as you want to be concatenated to the first array. And last but not least, we have the spread syntax, which achieves essentially the same goal as the concat method, but this one here does not actually call concat. So we've got a list of devices, laptop and desktop. Let's add mobile phone and tablet to the list of devices. So let's hop down here once again, saying const more devices equal to, and here we can say a new square bracket array just like this and we can use the spread syntax these three dots to then say devices then put a comma then say once again three dots then we can specify a new array so these three dots you can kind of think about it like they're taking the items out of the array and then extracting them into single values, right? So take laptop and desktop and bang put them inside here as the first two items then we're saying, let's do the exact same thing with the second array. And we can say here, mobile phone and then tablet. So now mobile phone and tablet are going to be extracted out of the array and placed within this array. So you have this primary um, array at the top here and we're merging it all together. So if also now console.log the more devices, we're gonna get the exact same result that we saw earlier with the concat. So if I run this script, we of course now get laptop, desktop, mobile phone and tablet. And much like the concat, you can keep going and add as many arrays as you want to to the end of this uh, syntax here. And that is all for today's video. I hope you guys learned something and you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.